Good evening, Trade Spooners, and let's take a look at today's pick for January 28, 2014. We're looking at a short, a bearish position in Nucor Corporation, NUE. Uh, here are our proprietary risk reward ratings here from Trade Spoon. It is at a 5, so it's in the mid range. And the value momentum is at a 3, so it's getting into the lower end of the range. Now let's take a look at the price action as well as volatility, risk on capital, as probability of success, and estimated move average. Taking a look at the closing price of 48.42, uh, it's right off of that 52-week high of 54.73 and above that 52-week low of 41.32. Now we have seen implied volatility come off its 52-week lows. It's up at that 65 percentile right now off of those lows. We see the return on capital at 100%. We see the probability of success right now measuring at around 70%. And the estimated move average into February expiration is $1.80. And as always, just hover over those question marks if you are wondering how we came up with any one of these calculations. Let's take a look at the picks tonight. The stock trade, we're going to sell short, sell stock, Ticker symbol NUE. We're going to put a limit price in at forty-eight dollars and forty-two cents or better, and that's going to be entered either before market or you can wait and watch the market open to validate or verify that you want to put this this particular order in at that price. Our target gain. Well, we're going to buy the stock back five dollars and ten cents lower than our entry price, so that should get us out right around. $43.32. So we would put a buy to close, good till cancel at that level. Now our stop loss, in other words, where we would take off the position at a loss, would be $5.10 above our entry price. So that would roughly get us out around $53.52. <clears throat> Taking a look at the options trade, we're going to look at buying the February $50 puts, we're going to look to purchase that for $2.22 or better. Now our target gain is going to be $2.22 above our entry price. So in this case, it would be $4.44 and we'd have a sell to close limit order good until cancel. We are willing to risk the $2.22 per contract. So please use prudent capital management when you're uh, putting on a cer certain number of contracts. We recommend or suggest that you use three to five percent of the cash available or percentage buying power uh, for the stock position in somewhere between two and a half and ten percent again based on the size of your account some of you might have some smaller accounts on the options trades now taking a look at the options spread trade we're looking to sell the february forty five dollar puts for twenty seven cents and we're gonna buy the fifty dollar puts for two dollars and twenty two cents that is a five dollar put spread and it is a debit spread we're going to put in a limit price in of right around a dollar ninety-three or dollar ninety-five. Excuse me. That would be our limit price, and that's also our max loss that we're willing to risk in the particular trade. Now, our target gain is going to be two dollars and forty cents higher. So you're going to put a sell limit on this spread of roughly four dollars and thirty-five cents somewhere in that range and you're gonna have that out there good until cancel to sell the spread if it gets to that level and as always you can use our proprietary virtual trade here from trade spoon to try out these new strategies if you've never done any one of these three before or if you're new to the trade spoon picks taking a look at the stock chart you've seen that the stock has pulled off and steel which is what new course business is has been under some pressure key stock events and specifically, what has put even more pressure is, is that they missed analyst er earnings estimates and sales only grew uh, at 6% over the past three years. Um, you're also seeing the recommendations and so forth in the key stock events. And any news and commenta commentary that you're seeing from the marketplace and from analysts can be found right under here in this section. And as always, when it's posted, and it shall be in just a minute, you'll be able to get our proprietary reports. If you need any help, any questions or considerations, please e email us at info at tradespoon.com. And always keep track of our recent picks as well as the performance. Well, that's the pick for tonight, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And everyone, 
stay warm these days, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good good day tomorrow in the markets.